Hey Karame, how's it going today? Hey everybody, uh, just here another day. I got a little project that I'm working on, which is cool. I, uh, you know, I like my cars, motorcycles, things like that. I actually got a mountain bike, a childhood type dream of a mongoose. We were never able to get that. I always had a Huffy or a T. Murray, something like that. So this is kind of a cool thing for me. Uh, let's check it out. So here we are. This is a Mongoose Terrorex. It's a 27 and a half inch. It does have disc brakes. Uh, this one over here was pretty rusty, so I plan on upgrading those. They do have some that are hydraulic, which is nice. Uh, I do want to upgrade these handlebars. They're a little thin. What happens is usually I go on the first couple jumps and my weight kind of pushes down on them and they bend. So I'm not sure how I feel about that seat. Uh, this does have the fat tires, which is really cool. I believe they're like 2.8. So almost three inches. I got a few things to do to it. I think I'm going to take off like the stickers, give it a little bit more, uh, I don't know, kind of stripped down look to it, a little cleaner. But I will try and keep you all posted as, as things go. I don't know how fast it'll go. But all right, so I'm in the garage here. Uh, with this mountain bike, this mongoose, I'm actually pulling off all the stickers. Uh, what I'm using, blow dryer, and I'm actually heating up those stickers. And I'm kind of scraping off the edge with like an old card, credit card, plastic, something. This was my old Lowe's card. Um, so you just kind of, you can see here, I've already got a lot of these stickers off of here. There was like the main one here. You're going to see a lot of glue residue that I got to get off of there. Um, and then I took it off this middle one here and down here. So I figured I'd kind of show you at least how I was doing this. Just turning that on high, letting it sit on there for a few minutes. It just warms up that, I guess it's kind of a vinyl sticker. Makes it easier to pull off. Like I said, you still are going to have a lot of that glue residue on there. I use uh, like regular old cooking oil to put on there and it dissolves the glue. I've seen people use lighter fluid and a few other things like that. Um, glue gone, sticker stuff, that doesn't really work very well for me. I found that the like a Wesson oil, some kind of vegetable or cooking oil works the best. You just put it on there, let it sit for, you know, 10 minutes or so to soak in. And then you just wipe this stuff off. So hopefully I'll show that here in a, in a little while. Right now, I just want to show you this sticker. What's up, Carrie? You gonna help? Huh? You gonna help me out? Well, it's gonna be a little hard to do one-handed here while I'm trying to film because I don't have like a tripod or anything like that. Once this gets warm, I'll actually put this down and see what we can do with the thing to get an edge going. And see how we can pull it off. see what we got here all right sorry about that I'm gonna use this here get up the edge if I can get that going a little better So it just kind of keeps peeling off. You got to keep messing with it. Because it's on a round surface, it wants to pull apart. So I found if you kind of pull like the long edges first, get them started, you can kind of get it to go all the way around and just pull off. And it seems like the hotter you get it, the less glue residue. So if you had like a heat gun, it'd probably be much better than a dryer. And a hair dryer. Oops. Let's see. 
better when it comes off in one piece too. It seems to do better when you got to kind of pick at it. That's when it leaves the most junk. All right. So eventually I'll do the whole bike like this, get it all cleaned up, and it'll just give it like a clean look. Yeah, kind of cool. Motorcycle. <laughs> Mustang. All right, so I got all the uh, stickers off I think that I want. Uh, it does give it a nice kind of just clean black look to it, which I like. Um, I need to take off that residue off of the, you can kind of see here, see all that residue, it's real sticky. So what I've done in the past is I use just a regular vegetable oil. Oil naturally just kind of dissolves, it soaks into the glue, dissolves it, and will kind of make it really loose. You should be able to just wipe it off. I've done this before. I actually learned on a, uh, I was doing... The spoiler I put took off the stock one and put this GT spoiler in there and they have it all glued down there I used goo gone I used all that kind of like sticker removal stuff none of it seemed to work I was scrubbing scrubbing scraping with a scraper I didn't come off of there and uh, it just wasn't working so now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take some of this pour it right onto this rag And then I'm going to wipe it right on there. Oh, it's already coming off, but I want it to soak in a little bit, make sure I get all of it off, all of the residue. So I'm going to cover it maybe a little more than that. Oh. This. I'm gonna let this all soak in on here. Let it kind of dissolve everything, see what happens. Hopefully, it'll all just come right off. Anywhere I had a sticker, wherever there's that zip sticker's uh, glue. When I get done with all that, I'll clean up the whole bike, hopefully. Get it all done. Get the other side here. Sorry about all the weird camera angles, but I thought you'd really want to be immersed in all this. This thing was sitting for a while. It's like full of dust. It's already come off there pretty good. Even trying. All right, I'm gonna leave that sit on there for a little bit, probably 15 minutes or so. Maybe see what happens. Come back, check it out. Like I said, it's already kind of coming off with it a little bit. So once it actually gets in there and dissolves it, it, should wipe right off. Everything should be super clean from there. All right, I'll be back in a little bit just to kind of see. Hopefully, show you that it worked or if it didn't. <laughs> what up, pup? What you doing? Hiding down there? Love you, girl. All right, so I got this thing uh, at least somewhat cleaned up. Let you take a look at it here. 
Alright, so all the stickers, everything that I want off of it's off of it. I still haven't waxed it or cleaned it. There is still a little bit of residue here. I still got some oil on there soaking in just to kind of loosen it up. And then I'll kind of go through later on and give it a full cleaning. Maybe wax it. Took that bag off the front. The frame is labeled as black, but it's actually kind of got a blue tint to it. Can't see now, but when the sun, maybe you can see a little bit. So you can really tell when you look at like the forks to the frame or the pedals to the frame, stuff like that, the seat, the bars. But for a hundred bucks, I'm gonna get, um, somebody might be giving me a, a bike rack for the back of my van. So I'll be able to haul this around. Hopefully it'll have like two spaces so I can bring somebody else with if I need to, so we can go ride and it'll be fun. Start hitting the trails. All right. Peace.